Welcome to Beers and Bottles, Daddy. 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 It's the homie GL from Beers and Bottles. It's your main man, PB and Bluey. We here with our new sponsor, King Kongan. King Kongan. Listen, you know, I like to be outside. I be outside vibing. Late nights, you know. Moving. Yo, I drink one sip of this. I'm good for the rest of the night. Girl. Vitamin B3, vitamin B, B6, what that, zero sugar? Zero <sighs> Gotta taste this. Mmm. And it don't got none of that nasty aftertaste. Mm. Just that. Just that, that word. Kind of, look, it's zero sugar. You gonna do this to me? It's your main man, PBM Louie. It's the homie GL. With beds. And bottles. You know, Rose, this is our sponsor. We do this every week. We want you guys to go check it out. That rare rose. So look, we 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 we're certain guys, right? And we like to groom ourselves, yeah. Yeah. So in certain times when we when we grooming ourselves, you know, you gotta be particular. You gotta take care of yourself, right? The only way you can really take care of yourself is by presence. Doing what? Presence beer kit. You know what I mean? It got yeah. everything you need. All of the, the two yeah. essentials. Yeah. This, this joint in here, bro, it got a comb. Yeah. It got the beer bomb. Yeah. Yeah. They got the beer, the beer bonnet. Bomb. Show them the beer bomb. They got the beer bomb. Show, show them the oil. Show them the oil. They got the... Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. They got the dust bag. Dust bag. Yeah, look, look. Everything got the beer with oil. So, so it's a different thing when you're dealing with that. So Comb. presence is where it's at. You want to get your beer right. You want to get your beer together. You want to be able to sleep right. You want to be able to be good. You want to get the oil, the night, just the essence, the smell. You want your wife to be like, mm. You know what I'm saying? Presence. Presence. Beer kit. Yo, use that special beers and bottles promo code. Just use that now. 25% off. It's at the bottom of this. 25% off. Use the beers and bottles promo code. All right? So, Presence Beer Kit. It's us. It's your main man, PBM Louie. It's the homie GL. And we just supporting, you know what I mean? What we got going on is beers and bottles at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Slime Millia. Huh? Minuteproductions.org. Go uh, get you some of these, man. Slime Millia. Studios.com. We really just, you know what I mean? Doing what we supposed Shit, to be doing. Uh, black, uh, 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 that boy joint. That joint crazy. Black, uh. We just doing what we supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Supporting what we supposed to be supporting. And make sure y'all go support them as well. So, you know, the dot com would be right here. Make sure y'all click the link. All right? It's your main man, PBM Louie. Homie GL. With bids and bops. Salute. What's good? It's your boy Turnpike Piff, Prop Joe, Chef KP. Black Bottle Boy, New Jersey. Support up with bids and bottles. 2009, 2010, you already know what it is. <laughs> the, the, the highest of the highest. Um, so let's get into it, bro. Um, let's start about your, uh, you know, your biography. Let's let's your life journey. Let's let's start there. Um Where you from, cuz? Where you from? You know, how how long you been out here and 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 who you are. So tell us right. who you are first and then go about, let's go eighth, ninth grade. All right, well, I'm originally from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Listen, I grew up in Somerset, though, Franklin, man. Mm -hmm. I read my shit, yeah. Definitely Franklin. I grew up out there. With, uh, Got, what's his name? Oh, uh, Benny. Benny Bates. Yeah. Benny Bates. Yeah. Bates dope, man. How old mm -hmm. is you? Me, I'm 41. You 41? Yeah. Oh, your hugs and them is that age? Yeah. It is a little... I'm older. We 37 now, so... Yeah, I'm 41. So Y'all would have been the old heads. Mm -hmm. Call it what you want. Uh, you know right? so, yeah, so. Nah, but I left there, moved to Franklin. I got in trouble as a kid, so I got sent down south, South Carolina, Charleston. Right. Definitely shout out Charleston. I'm going to Charleston in two weeks. Listen, you need anything, you call me. On that I got family out there. Yeah. Charleston in trouble. Yeah. Got in trouble. You know, I had to go to alternative school down there. I came back to Jersey 12th grade, summer 99, 2000. Right. Mm -hmm. Came back to Jersey. I feel like that's around the time I met you, around that mm -hmm. time. Started coming outside you know, a little through bit. the wars with the Haitians <laughs> and shit. Bruh. <laughs> My freshman year, 99. I wouldn't even 2000. listen. I met Hugs and them a little later. Right. But I met you first. I can't remember where, but I met yeah, you me first. Me neither. I just know I know you. I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, I know I know this nigga all my life. I don't even know where I know the nigga from. But from there, you know, I started cooking. You know what I'm saying? I went to culinary school a little later. I had a couple jobs. Mm -hmm. A couple jobs. I remember one day I got fired. Came home crying. Mm -hmm. Mom, like, what you crying for? I'm like, I got fired. She said, well, go to school, make the state pay for it, and they'll never fire you again. I got my culinary degree. Right. Mm -hmm. well, that's you know dope. what I'm saying? That's dope. So I just kept cooking. Right. You know, I was getting in trouble in between those times, so. Right. Now, how, how old was you around that time? Let me see. 18, 19? Nah, because I left. Let me see. I turned 21 in Atlanta. I forgot that. I had moved to Atlanta. 
for like a year and a half, turned 21. After I came back from Atlanta is when all that happened. Right, right. Um, word. So that's like 02, 03. So like that. Right, right, right. Yeah. So around that time, like what was life for you? Was you that's when the when the streets you started taking parts in the streets? Like yeah. tell us about I was trying to be outside, man. You know, my pops, he was locked up damn near my whole life. Right. So you know, I ain't have no male figure in the house. So more or less it was dudes outside. You know what I'm saying? It's probably different from where everybody else from, but it was dudes outside, and I was trying to be with them. You know what right, I'm saying? I was right, trying right. to be with they was with. They had money. I ain't want to ask my mom for no money. And where um, were you at at this time? At that time, I was in Franklin. No, I was in Piscataway. Piscataway. In Piscataway. And it was dudes outside in Piscataway yes. we getting to it? Yes. See, it's different. You know what it is? Like, so people that's not familiar with New Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's broke out to different sections, right? In different spaces, mm -hmm. right? So Newark is the main hub. Like, yes. If you're from here, if you're not from here, it's going to be the, the most known space from New Jersey. It's going to be like, Newark. Newark, right? Newark, Newark, and Camden. Newark, Trenton, and Camden. Yep. Those are going to be the spaces. But outside of those are spaces like Irvington. That's where I'm from. I'm outside of that, right? It's going to be spaces like East Orange. Mm -hmm. It's going to be small spaces and gaps like Linden, Roselle. And mm -hmm. then it's going to be other small spaces like Patterson. You know what I mean? Different spaces in Patterson. And small, very small spaces in Passaic. You get what I'm saying? But it's just like outsources. But mainly the main spaces is going to be Newark. You know what I mean? Right. And then Trenton. And then Atlantic City. And then, you know, obviously Camden. So when we hear spaces like, you say, Piscataway and Franklin. Yeah, we're which not, is but Somerset. Yeah. Somerset area. Yeah. yeah, I know it go down in Franklin. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but at, right. more so, we learn about that as I got older. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I was about to get and to yeah, that. So I was about to say, so right. Plainfield is, we know it go down in Plainfield. Plainfield is basically, so it's like this. If you think of those four times. No, but you said Spagataway. Yeah. That's not Plainfield. I'm about to tell you. All right, so we so think about, got, when I think about Spagataway, I mean, uh, Plainfield, I can't even say Spagataway. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying uh, not to mess with this. And look at that nigga Piscataway 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 So look Spaghetti Yeah spaghetti <laughs> Plainfield You know I know about All the project spots yeah. Down in Plainfield So you it know definitely go down Everybody know about Plainfield already But when you say Piscataway <laughs> That's you literally like, you know Five I mean? minutes next to it I got it But it, and the whole city Of uh, Plainfield Ain't even You know right. we got North Plainfield where, Beautiful Four from 400 400 yeah. Yeah. That's my guy But my nigga Six four from New Brunswick Right That's my brother Six four my guy African. too you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you African too? Nah. Oh, just you black. look it. No, fuck that. Not Dominican my boy. Nigga, nigga. Oh, get the hell out of here, man. Get the hell out of I like Big Poppy Ortiz when <laughs> right. I had the pro back in the day. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jesus Remember I had the What's the name The Mohawk? Hey, yo, I oh. know you had the Mohawk. Yeah, yeah. T Robbins be saying that crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> he had the Allen Iverson braids. Yeah, back in the day. Remember back in the day when I was young, young, young. Nah, man, but you got Piscataway, Plainfield, Franklin, which is Somerset, and New Brunswick. Right. So those four towns, you would look at it like Plainfield would be the hood, Piscataway's the suburbs. Right. Mm -hmm. Franklin, Somerset, technically is the suburbs, but then you got New Brunswick, which That'd is be the, the hood. hood. Yeah. But then New Brunswick is Rutgers. I'm right. say New Brunswick being the hood is exactly. crazy. Exactly. Nah, but it's different spaces. It's different. I know they like, got parts in there, but just... Yeah, it's yeah. just different... If I moved to New Brunswick, I made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what it is, though? It like, depends, you know, on, where you, depends on where you live, bro. The, pro the problem yeah, is this, Zach. Like, it's the, it's yeah, the, it's the Cali effect. So when you go in uh, L.A., exactly. the houses look like you made it. But you're in the 60s. No, you ain't make it. You right here in the 60s with the guys. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing with New Brunswick. It'd be spaces. Most mm -hmm. of the spaces look great. But these guys are getting killed here. People are dying for these spots. Right. You know what I mean? They having wars. And you meet these dudes in prison, locked up in the county. Like, what you doing up here? And, and they, they kill him for shit. Go down him. The, 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 just 2020 <laughs> or 19, they whooped the homies' head loose. The homies from New Brunswick. They whooped the eye from my hood. It was deeper than us. They whooped our head loose. We keep it in the G with you. It happens, bro. Yeah, and you're going to lose something. You're going to win something, you're going to lose something. Right, okay. That's what it was. But you know, damn. How I got out your way was... Irvington. Yep, Irvington, North, that whole Exus County. Y'all um, whole, listen, we was driving out there every saying, day nigga. to go get two, three bags of bud. It didn't make sense to well, me. What type of bud? The Skate 80. Uh, they don't know about it yet. The they had to be there. Exactly, the Skate 80. So, how you met Hugs? I met Hugs in a promo game. I'm going to tell you how I got to that. Doughboy was my first DJ. Oh, DJ Doughboy, that's yeah. his name. Yeah, shout out DJ to him. DJ Doughboy, definitely shout out Doughboy. But during that time, this is from 
I'm gonna give you a quick timeline. From like 03 to 2011, I had a great run with the Piff. That's with how the, I got my name. Yeah, no. with and the Piff, with the Purple. Piff and the Sour. Right. Okay, that's when Sour Park, first. I, nah, that's how I got my Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, we was coming to Nook every day. Irvington, every day. Lil Bricks, all that. Just to get Bud, it didn't make sense. Right. We six niggas in one car. It didn't make sense. Body a bag. Exactly. Getting one bag a piece. I took my little check from Red. <laughs> exactly. This is crazy. I took my little check from Red Lobster mm. with a half ounce of drum. Mm. It just turned up from there. Tell them the difference in prices from back then. Okay, so look. Prices was crazy back so then. For y'all who don't know, this is the shit I was talking about. So an ounce of weed would cost you between four twenty five to four seventy five. That's, that's a fact. Facts. You understand what I'm saying? And that's for real. We point four in the bag. Uh huh. Mm. One twenty five, one twenty five. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I was really doing that. And out there, in, around Yahweh, y'all had fifteens of one eighty nine. That one bag was getting six because high. Like right, I thought right. y'all was spraying the shit. The weed was so good. Right. Yeah. So I had to bring it back to where I lived at. So that way we ain't got to come out there no more. Because during that time, it was a lot of color banging going on out mm -hmm. there. Right. That's a fact. During those days, you never turned blood back then. Nah, I ain't turned blood. I always crap. thought you was blood back then. A lot of I got a lot of friends that's blood, a lot of friends that's crew. I'm just a neutral guy. I, I knew niggas. you was neutral. He told me you was blood. Nah. Yeah, I had always put you was blood. I fuck with always <laughs> just regular guy, but I knew what it was. So I respect the game. If it's not for me, it's not for me. Right. But I respect what you do, whoever you may be. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So once we got out there, I'm going back and forth all the time. And that's how I got my name because I'm back and forth up the turnpike. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I don't, sense. I'm in streets in Newark where I don't even know where I'm at. I ain't really figured that out till maybe a couple years ago. Like, I used to be over here. I didn't know where I was at. Mm -hmm. right, right. I just knew how to get there, get what I needed, and, and go back home. home. Yeah. Because it wasn't a game out there. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. during those years. Wasn't no game, but mm -hmm. we needed the bud out there. Right, right. Nork, I say this on, like you said, the hub, nigga. Best bud ever. Right. Yeah. Ever. Exus County, best bud ever. Is he? You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know about that. Yeah. Isabella, uh -huh. you never got no weed for Oh, I know where it's at, but I don't know about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't want to talk about that now. I don't know about that. Right now, I'm a chef. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? We moving from there. Right. A lot of things are going right for you. You know what I mean? I, obviously, you got your you got your degree and everything, but you chefing. Right. How did you start taking it serious and, like, start um, moving? From, I'm moving away from the bud and start to do the, the chef thing okay. more full time. 2011. This is actually how I started promoting, too. 2011, my best friend died. Who was the pink for? Her name Alicia Taylor. Oh, okay. okay. You know what I mean? Cancer? She was, yeah. Damn, breast cancer. I'm sorry to hear that, man. So, she was throwing parties. I don't know if y'all know about Liquid Assets. That's oh, Liquid Assets, yeah. Yeah. Or something? yeah. South Plainfield. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, was I know. throwing What's parties. Yeah, they booked me down there. So, sometimes. she was doing Fridays. Marvelous Mar was doing Saturdays. Oh, Marvelous Mar. If y'all, RIP Marvelous Mar. Like, yeah. they was doing a lot. And I went to a party one night and she was like, yo, why are you still hustling this, that, and third? And I'm like, because I'm making money doing it. She's like, you could do this, and you cook. I'm like, man, I don't want to do that. And that's how I met Doughboy. Doughboy said, come throw a party. Did a party. I made $3,800 my first party. How? How much? $3,800. Like yeah. $3,800. How? How did you do that? Tell us this. I was me. Because everybody, mm. everybody that was leaving the party, I knew everybody. Because they was leaving the party, hitting me for the bud. I mean, it was me and my Oh, you said you made it on the streets. No, no, no. Uh. No, no, no. When I threw my first party, I was able to pop it because I knew everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was nervous as hell, but it worked. The problem was the owner booked me and another girl that same night. So she ain't bring not one person, but I had to split it with her. Mm. That, was, that was my first lesson in so the So you had to treat $3,800 with her? Yes. Mm. I, I worked a, my I'd own gave door. A, I'd have gave her 25%. I did straight business. I didn't know this wasn't my game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know. All I know was I had to split with this girl. So even 1900 so is you, still a Yeah, foot, so you took 1800 or 1900 Whatever half of 3800 is. Sick. I'd have been yeah. sick. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? So from there, I started throwing the parties and I just kept cooking. And then once I, I took the cooking real serious, once people would be like, yo, I want you to cater something for me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I did a wedding my first catering was a wedding, 150 people. And that's how I learned the numbers because I lost on that deal, but it was a great turnout. Well, what year was that? That might have been 2013, 2014. How oh, you damn, you got years in this. Yeah, because 
I didn't understand how to break it down. So, so you ain't charged them enough. Exactly. So if you came to me at that time, like, yo, I want you to cater my wedding this down. I'm like, oh, yeah, how many people? 150? Oh, all right. Give me $3,000. That's not enough money. That's, by the time I bought the food, and then I had to give every host I had $100, like the servers, I left with like $500. Mm. You know what well, I'm saying? At least you ain't leaving the red. But that is the red. Like, I did that by myself. No help. Mm -hmm. To cook the foods. I did all of that by myself out of my mom's kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? By myself. Mm -hmm. So that was a lesson. That was and a hard there, lesson to learn, boy. A very hard lesson Because I would have at least charged him six. That should have been two, two times that. That's what it was supposed to be. Yeah. But I didn't know. I just thought I knew. You know what I'm saying? I thought I knew. Mm -hmm. Now I know. Because the I know, only reason I know when I got married, you know, I paid. I, I, you know, I did it. I'm just from the streets. Mm -hmm. I piece my wedding together. Look, I'm, I don't even <laughs> believe in God. All right, how much is church called? Oh, they want a five hundred dollars donation. All right, cool. They donate them five hundred. I'm gonna get married in the church. Remember, you was a part of the wedding. You was there, mm -hmm. so you know what I mean. So we did that, right? Boom. How much did the Bentley cost? Oh, five hundred. All right, get the Bentley. Mm -hmm. That's a, me and the Bentley. Now that's five hundred. How much the space cost? Five thousand. All right, boom, boom, five thousand. How much the food cost? She was like sixty five hundred. Exactly. With hors d'oeuvres and whatever. All right, 6,500. What are we going to do? You had to stand in line to get served. Yeah, that's what we did. Shit was Sit. buffet style. Yeah, buffet. Buffet. How many people you had at your wedding? <laughs> About 150. 150. Exactly. And then it's more that I didn't even, that I invited them, but I didn't really invite them. They wasn't like part of the list that right. we just had to, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they shut me down at 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Is, is a no, wedding? It's not it a was party? It, no, it was COVID. Oh, they, okay. I paid to 12. So mm. they shut me down at 10 o'clock, matter of fact. So they had to get that bread back. So they gave me, when I, and my wife put a, was about to put a big complaint up, and he seen it was his name. He's like, yo, what if we give you two grand back? And I was in Houston at the time. Like, mm. <laughs> two grand sounds cool. <laughs> Send me two grand. I ain't going to write no post about you, champ. And he sent this yeah. two grand back. I said, that's the way the you know, world man. is, man. And it was great. Nigga was still not looking. The homies was ready to whoop his head loose. Not the guy that was, the, you know what I mean? Mm. But his workers. The homies was like, you don't want to buck. It was buck. Like, I, I already knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Like, Who about to, he grabbed them. I'm like, buck, chill out, bro. Don't let, let the niggas go. You know what I mean? That was shot, man. But it is what it is. All right, so moving forward now, you know, you started taking things serious. You started doing the cooking, the right. promoting going right. Did you see it as long-term, promoting and cooking at the same time? You started dealing with the strip clubs, hugs. Tell me all that. Bring that to me. All right, well... Liquid Assets had closed. Something happened. They got shut down. Boom. Doughboy calls me because I went to Jersey Girls first to try to see if I can get in Jersey Girls. All Damn, the promoters bro, did. You going to get in Jersey Girls? That's 2012? Yeah. All the... Yeah. Right 13, close. yeah. Mm. All the promoters had what it on lock. Close? Had to be, what, 15? 15, maybe 16. 14? That shit closed 15, 16? Yeah. Wow. I want to say 14. They knocked it down 15, 16. 14, yeah. 14, I want to say 14. During that time, every promoter there had a night. Yeah. So it was no getting in. Doughboy calls me like, yo, check my man Hugs out. I'm like, where he at? He was at Escapes before it was Exotics. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Before it was Exotics. So I hit Hugs. I ran the corner from uh, our shit. Downtown Elizabeth. Shout out Hugs for real. Hugs gave me my first shot up north. You right. know what I mean? Hugs said, let me see what you could do. Bring all your people. I'll put you on a Friday because he had a Friday. So I did half with him. Boy, everybody from my way out there popped it. Boom. Meet Swag, because me and Swag is... Shout out Maybach Swag, too. He floating on parties. I'm hitting up Big Prev trying to get tickets for parties. Mm -hmm. So we calling ourselves floater promoters. Like, we everywhere. Doing whatever it is. Bouncing around, you know what I'm saying? Selling tickets, making money off the tickets. Whatever. Prev had all-stars. He had a lot of shit mm -hmm. going on. So it was a lot of opportunity Prev, there. Prev, it was a lot of opportunity there. Yeah. So, you know, from there... Met Swag, we locked in, and that was me, him, and Hugs. Mm. Everywhere. Next thing you know, I wake up, there's a message in my inbox like, yo, welcome to the Black Bottle Boys. And that's how that shit started. What um, year is this? I want to say that's like 15, 15, mm. 16. Yeah. And well, it started going crazy for you with the yeah, Black Bottles. Yeah, that worked out. And then I got into Angels, the old Angels, not the new Angels. Yeah. The old Angels. The first Angels. Yeah. Not 